Okay, so I put the uh, tubes back in. And uh, what's going on there? How come it's not going up? What, 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 what? There we go. Okay. Now we're on short wave. I'm going to knock out the oscillator. Um, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Ah. So since this capacitor, this, this one here, is between the two grids, essentially. I should be able to knock it out here. There goes the voltage. If I knock it out on this side, oh, right to nothing. So, in that case, uh, I was grounding the antenna signal, basically. Let me just unclip this. There's no external antenna connected. So there's a, something going on on that grid. Hey, let's put it back on. Let's put it on the scope here. Ooh. I don't want a grounded wire laying around like that. That's going to be a little dangerous. So what we'll do here is you know, it always feels good when you when you think you're on your way somewhere. <laughs> I have this feeling my, I'm on my way somewhere here. So that's what's on one side. That's what's on the other. Now it didn't knock the voltage out. going on there. That was a little strange. That was really strange. Okay. First of all, I think I'm on the signal grid right now. The signal grid upon which there should be no signal. But there's that strong signal sitting there. 5 volts per division, so, you know, that's 5 volts peak to peak there. I will now tune down from 18 megahertz. 15, right around 14. I'm stopping at 14 there. It gets teeny, and then as I keep going, it comes back. You can see the frequency is dropping. Going away again. And this is where the radio works fairly well. And look, there's something trying to come back. Looks, looks, doesn't look very good on the uh, screen there, on the computer, or on the video rather. But when I look at this with my eye, it looks like a whole bunch of uh, threads spiraling along. Maybe, yeah, I think you can see that. Okay, what just happened? What just happened there? Maybe I have a bad connection. You're still doing the same thing. It's, it's even. So there's an oscillation here that this is 18 or 18 uh, megahertz uh, on the short wave band at the top of the band. Come down, it just goes right off, comes back, comes down, goes right off, comes back, sort of not quite. <laughs> and we're at the bottom now. I think I'm onto something with this. Okay, so I'm connected. This 
is the capacitor I'm going on either side of it. One side is the green, the other side is the blue. Blue is the oscillator, green is the antenna signal. So I'm actually watching the antenna side. Just trace it back, go through this coil. Down to this line. So, what's going on with these coils? Is there something going on with these coils? So I'm going to put my finger on those coils. They're up here, and we'll watch the meter here. Hey, look at it. I'm just, I'm not touching anything electrical, at least I don't think I am. These are the antenna coils. This must be the AM coil, and this would be the short wave coil. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, what I actually said there, although it came out as gibberish, was this is the same as the last radio I was looking at with the antenna coil that was kind of mucked up. Here I am now, uh, finding another antenna coil thing going on. So what do we think? We I think there's some kind, some kind of oscillation going on through here, through this. And if I stick my finger there, oh, that was a tube. <laughs> well, it's not the tube I'm getting close to, is it? Wow, I get close to this tube and it goes way down. Really? Just getting close to the tube? Yeah. Coil? Or the tube? Well, I think it's pretty it's pretty conclusive to me at this point that this capacitor the capacity link, the twisted pair of wires, which I replaced with a uh, capacitor, is simply feeding some of the uh, local oscillator signal right onto the signal grid. Now this tube is getting two shots of the local oscillator, and I'm going to bet that the portion that's coming through this capacitor and getting onto the other grid, the antenna grid, if I can call it that, is out of phase sometimes with the oscillator. And that's what we've seen some of these weird waveforms along with the funny wiggle at the bottom. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's from that. So what, what's the whole reason for this? Why is that even there? Why does C27 exist? Why would you want to leak a little bit of the local oscillator onto that other grid? That's a really good question, and I have no idea the answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down on this radio for a while. i got some other radios that I have to work on, some really interesting ones. And uh, let, uh, let you have a look at this video and you tell me, what is C27 doing there? And by changing it to a standard style of capacitor, did I somehow miss something there? Uh, anyway, thanks for watching so far.